My name is Amy Moran, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biological Sciences at Clemson University. Uh, my group and myself study marine animals. We're interested in their physiology and their evolution. In particular, we study their early stages of their life cycles, including larvae and embryos. And these early life cycle stages are interesting and really important. Knowing about their biology is one of the, the great black boxes of marine science because most animals produce hundreds of thousands of tiny offspring that disperse in the ocean, and we we have no idea what happened to them. We only know that a mere few of them survive to adulthood. We've worked on these animals all over the world, in the tropics, in temperate waters on the east and the west coasts, and in the last few years we've started working on these questions in the Antarctic. This is a, a, a unique environment. It's extremely cold, which makes life cycles very slow. These things take years to develop, which is unique, and we're, we're very interested in what that does to their biology. Uh, physiologically, they have to deal with extreme cold. Enzymes don't work very well, things function very differently, and the oxygen environment is unique down there. There's a tremendous amount of oxygen, slow rates of oxygen use, and, and this has created some, uh, some unique evolutionary strategies in these animals. The Antarctic is a spectacularly beautiful place to go. Above the ice, on top of the ocean, it's very stark. It's white and blue and black and nothing else. And it's very bright, you know, constant 24-hour daylight when we were there. And so when you when you first go through the hole in the ice, you know, it's very bright on the surface. And then you go underwater and you can't see anything for a minute. And then your eyes adjust and you can see all the rocks on the bottom and, and starfish. I mean, the water is so clear that when you're standing at the surface looking down through the hole, you can see 100 feet down the animals that are on the bottom. And you can see your dive buddy down there on the bottom. It see, feels like you can see forever. And you can see all the uh, jellyfish and the things called tinafores and all these large, beautiful, gelatinous animals. And it's like being in a in the center of a kid's mobile is how we've described it. Sort of all these things just floating around you. And some of the really unique things that we got to see down there, um, one of them are these enormous sea spiders, which get to be the size of dinner plates down there. And they're bright orange, these enormous eight-legged things that just sort of wander around the bottom. That was an amazing thing to see. There are uh, sponges down there. Now, now, normally a sponge is a sort of vase-shaped animal that just sits there and filters water. In, in the deep sea, I had read about these before, there are these um, predatory sponges, which is a very bizarre lifestyle, and the sponges that, that live somewhat like a, a sundew plant. They have little spines on them, and animals will come and get stuck on them, and then they'll grow around the animal and eat it as they're doing that. We got to see these diving in the Antarctic because they're very shallow because the water is so cold and it's so dark, and it was just remarkable to be able to see these, these sort of legendary marine animals just face-to-face.